Well, in 1936, um, you may not know this, but uh, Movie Tony used to do it then, and Pathé didn't have the rights to film the cup final. No, really? No, that what had happened is they used to get in for free to film the cup final, and oh, the FA like suddenly said, we want you to pay. The rights. And they wouldn't. Mm. So they had to, um, they weren't allowed to film the cup final at all, but they still had to do reports on it because it was in the news. So they had to do a report on the cup final without being able to show the cup final at all. It's absolutely true. 1936. So this is what Movie Tone came up with, right, for their so-called coverage of the 1936 cup final. <laughs> touched off in a cup final, the roar of the crowds is heard miles away, and every sportsman who has witnessed the great event can imagine the picture. These scenes are typical of the game which thrills the popular imagination of Williams. The weaving and fainting of the forwards, the tenacious tackling and passing of half-backs, the steady covering and kicking of full-backs, and sometimes a tremendous climax, a goal. Ah! 